Hello there and a very warm welcome to all of you joining us today on a very special interview. We have a special guest here who is uh, on his first visit to Sri Lanka. He is none other than Dr. Omanand Guruji. First of all, before we get into the interview, how did you get into yoga? Modern science has accepted rebirth is possible and it happens. So this is something related to the previous births. And if I say it is not from this birth, so it should not be taken into as if something talking in the air, it has a base. Right from the childhood, at the age of six, five, four, I was most of the time among the saints or going into uh, discourses, yoga discourses with my parents. And it started from the childhood. When my friends or my colleagues or my other students who were playing other games, I was in the different field of yoga, spirituality and meditation. Today, you are known as a top management and personality yoga guru. You also conduct large-scale sessions for today's professionals around the world. How do you perceive that yoga could help in the day-to-day -day lives of professionals? Modern world is saying, think positive. There are motivators, they charge huge amount of money and they keep on giving the speeches to the people. Think positive, think positive, and if you go and see their personal lives, most of them are having their own problems. How is it possible to have just a positive current and have the electricity bulb on? Whenever we are thinking and talking of the world, both energies are needed, whether it is negative or positive. What yoga teaches us, a balance. That is why a very famous definition given by Krishna about yoga is yoga is balance. Balancing is yoga. Equipoise is yoga. And yoga is a pure science. It has nothing to do with any sect or a particular person or a place or a particular religion. Though Hindus have discovered it, so it does not mean that Edison discovered the bulb. So every bulb used in the world is a Jewish bulb. So yoga has a very deep power for modern management students young people, everybody at large to balance their shakti, balance their energy. There are many techniques gifted to us by great yogis for thousands of years research how to live a balanced, blissful life. Today in the world, every four seconds, there is a suicide. 92% Americans are seeing the psychologist in their lifetime. And today, one third of expenditure on health is being on the psychiatrist and psychologist because of this imbalance of human mind and life. So how do we bring about this balance? So this balance, yoga itself is balance. Now there are two types of yoga. One is visible, another is invisible. We call in Sanskrit, Bahirang and Antarang. Now if I ask you, you see the physical body very clearly. Can you see the mind? Or can you give me what is the mind? I am sure most of your viewers, they are watching this program. If you ask this question to them, what is mind? Answer will not be coming correct. Because mind is ruling our life and we do not know the mind. Yoga deals with the mind. This is one of a very important branch in modern age which need one to be understood very clearly of the mind level. So once you, once you understand the mind, this is the invisible part of the yoga. Visible part of the yoga is doing asana, pranayam. You keep your physical level, visible level balanced. But if mind is imbalanced, how you can call a miss world or miss universe a balanced personality? So mind need to be balanced along with your external visible bodies. So invisible yoga deal with the faculties including the stress, tension, depression, anxiety, fear, loneliness, pain, all these invisible problems can easily be treated through invisible part of yoga. So that is what we need to balance through certain yogic techniques, which I feel like every person by birth should learn them. The only problem is today there are not so many real good yoga teachers on the earth available 
so sri lanka is really very fortunate to have chamin guruji as a one of the very good yoga teacher he is trying to spread the real authentic yoga which really can take from invisible side to visible side in a higher balance and harmony you've authored over 20 books um i'd like to draw your attention to one particular book a journey beyond diseases through yoga therapy do you believe that yoga has the power to uh heal diseases dangerous diseases such as cancer there are many sutras sutra means formula or shlokas in sanskrit we call in our ancient scriptures text which dates back some 9000 years 7000 2000 3000 years back books they are talking in certain formula language that do these particular things you will be free from your suffering sorrow pain and diseases very clear declaration those books are still in big circulation for yoga aspirants if those books were talking lie false those would have been out of circulation then from those books we picked up those formula we decoded them we are doing a lot of research today currently 42 students are doing research almost 43 international yoga doctors came to our institute 69 countries students have become yoga teachers from our institute at the same time american doctors have come there in our institute and doing research on that that is it possible really that yoga can help to remove the diseases like cancer my answer is yes but not at the stage when it is almost person is dying and unable to do anything till a person at the first initial stages is able to do something these diseases are 100% possible to be taken care by yoga because two of the patients my own experience one is my very good student in argentina deepak anand he himself was suffering from lungs cancer his cancer is completely gone and today he got hundreds of students and yoga teachers he is running very good our school there back in argentina second case was there dr beverly rubinstein from new york she was also suffering from lungs cancer back in 2006 the largest yoga cancer cancer facility in the world in new york they said sorry we cannot treat you any more because you can count your days she still lived for since they said after 7 years and her cancer was also gone and those are recorded things two of the cases in front of you people have a very big fear cancer means cancellation they do not go to the right person to understand first of all from where it has come and then how this can be balanced now in american uh, usa government has also funded a huge th- amount for research on yoga and remedies very good results are coming very nice possibilities are there that many diseases are possible to be cured but the problem is about the visible diseases like if i got a injury here i will also go to a doctor if i got my pain in the in the teeth i will also go to a dentist visible diseases modern medical science is very good invisible diseases like pain now you cannot measure the pain there you cannot say how many kilo how many meter pain is there there is no measurement there is no specific you can say that i can show you mri i can show you x ray i can ex- describe but you cannot show pain at all now pain is a invisible disease if it is invisible disease its treatment has to be invisible today is seeing a lot of stress tension um a lot of depression as well so how can yoga come into the lives of these people who are across the world not just in one part of the world first of all modern medical science has got a different approach towards stress yoga is having different approach modern medical science of stress is towards objects it is talking objects they say think positive positive stress will go 
do these these kind of things they will give you analysis that stress will go but unfortunately still today modern medical science has failed to cure the stress one of the biggest evidence one american doctor md doctor is sitting right now in our ashram doing research and phd he was serving american military 3 years in afghanistan in nine, since 1999 till 2014 now this is the data more than 3600 soldiers they died in the fields war fields but more than 122000 soldiers committed suicide that is the condition of stress if modern medical science is so advanced why can't they cure so many innocent soldiers are committing suicide today world is producing 1.9 trillion worth of medicines out of that almost 880 billion dollar worth of medicine being consumed by america alone by that parameter american should be most healthy people on the earth which i ask many americans but they say no guru ji the fact is totally reverse it means modern medical science in certain aspect is excellent for the visible diseases but they have still limitation for the invisible diseases like stress tension depression anxiety fear these are not visible you see their symptoms but you cannot see the problem and we have many cases where people have relieved they changed their life they came out from the stress they came out from tension more than 80000 children we did personally i myself was involved i was going with the children talking to them children's life changed college students life changed in a city like any city you pick up today small city every day so many students are committing suicide only because of stress so what yoga treat us yoga guide us techniques how to get rid of stress because stress aggravate when your brain waves goes towards the beta waves neurons start moving with 40 vibrations per second in beta waves from beta waves you have to bring it to alpha waves where the vibrations of movements of your brain waves will come down to 14 per second you can go further down to bring it 4 when it is on the theta waves this is possible during yoga and meditation i will try to bring you one <coughs> recent research by harvard university in uh, uh, congestion with uh, massachusetts hospital dizepam is the largest selling medicine in the world mm. approved by world health organization they made four sections of the similar doses patients mm. one section was told every day you do 45 minutes jogging another section was told every day you do 45 minutes swimming third section was told every day you do 45 minutes running mm. now running jogging swimming and gym mm. these three sections mm. the fourth section in which they were told group to do 45 minutes yoga and meditation every day right after 6 weeks what the results came out that the group who was in gym their dizepam continue their medicines continue their stress level continued second swimming their medicines continued then jogging their medicine continued surprising result came yoga and meditation group their medicine was stopped completely they came out from the stress now this america is saying out of the one of the very respectable honorable university harvard university when these things were told by our rishis our yogis our maharishis after thousands of years of research unfortunately it was told in sanskrit so it was not taken care by the world today it has coming from the same source from sanskrit gone into english coming from there now your viewers will be more happy to listen to me <laughs> not to those sanskrit scriptures is that right so what to do in in such cases the best way that ancient techniques of our eastern philosophy should come up all the universities all the politicians they need to come forward to give this real authentic knowledge right from the childhood if a child is balanced there is no question of suicides there is no question of stress 
and sisters they were so happy so blessed they were not doing nonsense kind of things in their life now students children are not listening to their parents they are not at all balanced why because every school is telling their child should come first i was invited in one of the program and uh, it was a annual program 3000 parents and children 3000 families were sitting annual program and i asked all the parents that all the parents who want their child to come first please raise your hands 100% parents they raise their hands that they want their child should come first in the class then my next question was to all the parents that those parents who came first during their childhood please raise your hands not a single parent raised their hands now what has happened to our childhood now our childhood is under too much stress that their left side brain is developed left side brain is logical calculative always selfish right side creativity creative relationship it makes us balanced now right side brain is not developed of the modern child so all the children who are coming out from the schools and colleges in recent years in last 20 30 40 years they will be suffering and they are suffering very badly from the stress because of the imbalance in their teachings in their feeding which need to be balanced through yoga and meditation